For many people, snacks and other food treats are an area of temptation. To help avoid impulse buys, it's a good idea to eat before you go shopping. And don't leave home without a grocery list to help keep you on track. So, where should we start? Well, I'd like to know what kind of crackers to buy. Usually the main concern with crackers is the salt content. Let's check out a couple of boxes and see how they compare. These have 115 milligrams of sodium. And these have 35. But that doesn't make sense. Mine say unsalted and yours say low sodium. That's why it's so important to check the nutrition facts. The amount of sodium can really vary between brands and types of crackers. Is there a certain amount of sodium I should be looking for? Well, most people, including kidney patients, should try to keep below 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams of sodium per day. For something like crackers or snacks, try to keep it below 100 milligrams or 4% of your daily value. What about sweet snacks? My dietician told me to be careful with nuts and chocolate. That's very good advice. Snacks and cookies made from nuts and chocolate tend to be higher in potassium and phosphorus. It's better to choose plain cookies and sweets, things like digestive biscuits, shortbread, graham wafers, or plain granola bars. Is it better to buy muffins instead of cookies? Great question. Many commercial muffins and baked goods are high in phosphorus because they use more baking powder than you'd use at home. Baking powder is high in phosphorus additives. Well, I can make my own muffins. Do you have any suggestions? For lower potassium muffins, try pineapple or frozen blueberries, cranberries, raspberries, or rhubarb. And this would be a great time to try one of those milk alternatives we talked about to lower your potassium and phosphorus. Okay. Let's head to the frozen desserts. I pretty much avoid ice cream because of the phosphorus, but it would sure be nice to have some options for summer. Well, it's the milk that's high in phosphorus, so why not look for some treats that have only a little bit of milk? Things like sherbet or gelato, or even go dairy-free with popsicles, frozen juice bars, or frozen rice dessert. <laughs> I feel relieved. I don't have to cut out all snack foods from my diet. And now I know how to compare them, and I can choose the ones that work best for me. Thanks.